Mass with Bob. Today we're looking at uh, the three, three, the uh, three theatre results, I should say. Uh, we're going to have a quick look at the um, a summary here. Uh, this is these are the results we're going to need to actually derive the uh, three theatre results. And uh, you can see here we have a sine a plus or minus b equals sine a cos b plus or minus uh, sine b cos a. Notice the signs are the right way up, oh, if you like, both expansions. So if you like, what I mean by that is. Uh, that plus or minus here is also a plus or minus over here in the expansion. Okay, if you look at cos, uh, you see here cos a plus or minus b equals cos a cos b minus plus sine a sine b. You can see here the signs are swapped around so that if I wanted to find the cos a plus b, it's actually cos a cos b minus sine a sine b. So you can see we've incorporated two results actually into one, uh, and you can just see here. Obviously, this, if that's the right way up in the cosine result, then in the expansion, it actually expands out with upside down, or inverted, if you like, minus plus. Now, the tan is an interesting one. You actually have a plus and minus on the top and a minus plus on the bottom. So tan A plus or minus B is tan A plus or minus tan B on 1 minus plus tan A tan B. So basically, uh, the plus result will give a plus on the top and a minus on the bottom, and the minus result will give a minus on the top and a plus on the bottom. Okay, so just recapping, okay, here we have a plus and minus here, so it's on the top, so right way around, if you like, and on the bottom, it's inverted or upside down. Okay, we're going to need these to actually get our, basically they generate the two theta results and also the three theta results as well, and also four theta, we can use those as well for those. Well, okay, here we have the uh, sine three theta results. Now, um, you can see here the technique's fairly simple. You split the 3 theta up into a theta plus a 2 theta, then use the sine A plus B results, A being theta and B being 2 theta. And once you've got that, you can see here that basically you are going to need the 2 theta results here and obviously here as well, just here. Okay. And when you expand all that out, you also have done a few other things. I've actually written, uh, you can see here, I've written cos squared as 1 minus sine squared, and I think I've also did it again here on the expansion over on the other side here. We get a cos by a cos, okay, giving us this other sine squared. But when you expand all this out, you can see uh, that the end result is our th uh, sine 3 theta results, okay, which are down here. So, so sine 3 theta, you can see here is this result here, 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cubed theta. That's the sine 3 theta result. Now, 4 theta. How would I do 4 theta? Well, I, I just thought I'd just show you quickly how will we do 4 theta. Well, we can do it this way. Uh, I've done it uh, a couple of ways. You still get the same result. You can do it sine 2 times 2 theta. Okay, you can write 4 theta as 2 lots of 2 theta and substitute the 2 theta into the 2 theta results, <laughs> you can say. Uh, and expand it out. And yet the result comes out nice and quickly here, and you end up getting your, if you like, your sine 4 theta results. Now you could also do it uh, like this. You could say sine of uh, theta plus 3 theta and use your th 3 theta results, but you end up getting the, the same result as well. So you, get this, you do that eventually, you'll get the same result here. Okay. So basically your sine 4 theta result actually is this one. Uh, I'll put it back, okay. Uh, it's actually, you can see it's a bit more complicated. 4 sine theta cos cube theta minus 4 sine cube theta cos theta, okay. All right, so let's go on to the cosine now. Okay, here we have the, the cos 3 theta results, and you can see here, again, we have to... Uh, uh, oh, oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> we need, uh, uh, actually, the 2 theta results here. And again here, okay, do the expansions. You can see here sine squared, 1 minus cos squared. Uh, well, in fact, and then we get a, a total result here, which is, uh, whoops, uh, this is uh, this result here for this big bracket in here, 2 cos squared theta minus 1. Well, basically, you end up, when you do all the simplifications, you end up getting that, uh, what? Cos 3 theta result, okay, is this one here. Okay, this is your cos 3 theta result, which is 4 cos cubed theta minus 3 cos theta. Okay, now 
Moving on, uh, let's have a quick look at our uh, tan 3 theta results. Again, split 3 theta up to theta plus 2 theta and use our tan uh, A plus B results. Uh, and you can see a plus on the bottom. Well, so a plus on the top, I should say, and a minus on the bottom. If you remember, the tan was the one where the top was the right way and the bottom was inverted. And you can see here again, we've had to use our uh, 2 theta results. Uh, as you can see here, we've got tan 2 thetas. We coming out top and bottom okay but and then we basically put them all over one minus tan squared theta and you can see I've cancelled those out eventually getting uh, this result down here uh, whoops some of it's moving some of it's not moving okay <laughs> here we are uh, this is the tan 3 theta results now that you can see the tan 3 theta results are 3 tan theta minus tan cube theta on 1 minus 3 tan squared theta Okay, well this is a quick overview of the three theatre results, uh, and uh, well thank you for watching. Bye for now.